In this video, we're going to look at an example where um, we have variable terms on both sides and constant terms on both sides like we had in our previous video. Um, but the thing that complicates this a little more is that we have multiple variable terms on both sides and multiple constant terms on both sides. So the only thing that's going to change here, and I'm just rewriting this to give us more room to start with, is that before we want to try getting the variable terms on one side and the constant terms on the other, like we know we're supposed to do, we want to simplify both sides of our equation first. So again, I'm going to try to make sure I line up my equal sign. The more complicated these problems become, I think the more essential this is to keep that equal sign going straight down the page vertically. But we're going to simplify both sides. So of course I can see that 7c and negative 8c are like terms here. So we're going to take 7c minus 8c is negative 1c, but you can just write that as negative c. And then the 5 doesn't have any like terms on the left, so I'll just put plus 5. And then over here, 4c minus 2c is 2c, and then 8 plus 9 is 17. And so now this problem, after I've done that first step of simplifying, looks like uh, some of the problems we saw in the last video. Okay, so now what we need to do is get variables on one side, constants on the other. And it doesn't matter uh, which side gets the variables, which side gets the constants. I'm going to choose to add C to both sides so that the C's are on the right side. And I'm just going to do that because I like positive coefficients on my C. And if I move the smaller uh, of the terms, so negative C is less than 2C, that will ensure that this is a positive coefficient. Rewriting everything that I haven't changed as I go along. So I'll subtract 17 now. And 5 minus 17 will give me a negative 12 equals 3c. And then finally I can divide both sides of this equation by 3. So we get negative 4 equals C. And again, I'll just remind you of this helpful technique of keeping the equal signs lined up as you go. So just going vertically down the page, I did a pretty decent job of it here. Just really helps us keep things organized and really be aware of where we're at um, within the problem.